At first I thought I was still dreaming, but when I walked out of my cabin, I realised it was all too real. I walked through the ship, searching for any signs of life, but there were none. It was as if everyone had vanished into thin air. I decided to check the crew quarters on the bottom deck, and as I turned a corner, I saw a door. It was sealed with an organic looking substance that seemed to writhe and pulse. The world went dark, but the door beamed with light. And that's when I heard the voices. A thousand tongues speaking in a thousand languages I could not comprehend. I didn't know where the door led, but I was compelled to open it. I needed to open it. A gust knocked me down as soon as my hand pulled down on the bubbling handle. I could not make it out, but there was a dark mass down in the belly of the ship. I was not alone aboard this vessel and the company I kept was not of my world. The ship was its prison and I was its prey. 